This is a robot where the entire robot is the weapon. It spins around and it uses a complicated set of sensors and math. Hello, my name is Misha. I'm on Carnegie Mellon Combat Robotics and this is Open Hell. Open Hell is a hovercraft melty brain. It hovers rather than having traditional wheels and the way it moves around is by modulating these fans that we have here, we can actually get a translational acceleration. One of the main problems that melty brains have is that they destroy their wheels because they have an enormous amount of friction that they go through because they're spinning so fast. A hovercraft solves that. We have essentially no friction. We are the idealized uh, physics problem block on a frictionless surface. And they are spun up. I think we were all curious just to see, okay, how is this gonna go? The reason we actually built Open Hell is I saw Chonky, Georgia Tech's big shell spinner. And I kind of thought, man, that thing could almost take off. What if it did? And then the thinking slowly evolved like, wait, why do we need the shell spinner? Let's just make it a melty. Let's just spin the whole thing. We don't need another bearing. And so that's how we landed on this. And honestly, it's weird in that no one's done it before, to my knowledge, but it's mechanically an extremely simple robot. It is three fans and just a whole bunch of fancy electronics. We use an accelerometer and a gyroscope to sense how fast we are rotating. We add that up over time. So if we know how fast we're going and how long it's been, we should roughly know where we are. Based on we know where we are, the microcontroller decides when to send the pulse to the translational fans. So we're actually just sending it a direction in which to go and figures out the rest. Fight, robots, fight. Right now, Open Hell doing a whole lot of sitting there. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm hearing it now. Open Hell really struggling to get going. One of the troubles we have with Melty Brains is a problem that's compounded with a hovercraft. The arena floors get torn up. It's dirty in there. Look at that floor in there. Look, you know, up. I think, Richard, it might actually be functioning better upside down. Of course, it can't do any damage since the <laughs> weapon is now about two inches above its opponent. So let's be really direct here. It's making the contact it needs to make. It's just not doing much when that contact happens. And I'm not sure if that's because the metal isn't landing or it's just not spinning fast enough. That is oh. headed to the judges. I'm not sold on this design yet. Are you? There is such a long road for <laughs> Melty Brains ahead of us. I think we are eventually going to see Melty Brains take over the majority of the body spinner market.